How has being a dad changed the way you look at your life and your career? I love that question. And I, and I think, um, I think being a dad has helped me to think less about all the things that I can do um, and more about the things that I should be doing and then that, that I'm passionate about. Um, because there's nothing like when you're when your little babies look at, at you or, or even my three year old Samson looks you in the eye and they want to see they take our their cues from me and their incredible mom, Catherine. And, and I want them to see that, you know, uh, it, to try to move with purpose. And, and I think one of the things that is, is my purpose is to to grow as much as I can, you know, to not look back and to create, especially through music which has always been a huge, huge, huge passion of mine. So um, to be able to to share in music right now so much, Broadway, of course, as well, but um, what's been going on in my mind in the last 16 months with my incredible Broadway fans who follow me through any avenue I go, whether it's film or television or or music, um, it, it means a lot to me. So um, that, that's how it's changed me. It, it's really helped me focus um, on the music um, and sharing my heart through music. Uh, yeah, that's the yeah. biggest change. Okay, now for your older son, showbiz mm -hmm. aspirations, I mean, <laughs> there. You know, since he was, you know, <laughs> like six months old, I'd pull out the guitar and he's like, <laughs> just, just pawing at it. He loves music, he loves show tunes. He's really oh. into Frozen. He hasn't seen a Broadway show yet. So I'm like, what's the first show that we're gonna take him to? Probably Lion King, because he knows all those all, all that music. But um, he knows what daddy does. He knows that um daddy goes away sometimes to do a concert. Um, but I always tell him I'm gonna bring him back a picture or a video so that he can see what happened and that I'm always thinking about him while I'm while I'm performing. All right. You received your third Tony nomination for your brilliant performance as Billy Bigelow in Carousel. You became a dad during previews. You and I talked about this before. How did being a dad influence your performance, especially in your soliloquy? Um, I still remember that day, the, the first day back, singing soliloquy after Samson was born on a Monday and then coming back on a Tuesday. I, I don't really have, I, I had to really separate myself, which is what I don't like to do, but I had to suppress the emotion and just go through the technical aspects of the song from crescendo to emotion, because I was it, I was so tender on the inside. It wasn't until like two days after that where I was able to live and sort of put my life and my emotion back into the, the story again. Um, but there's nothing like singing my boy, Bill. You know, and then I was able to, in my mind, say my boy Samson and really live in the, the, that moment. Like every smile about that story in that nine minute song was genuine. You know, every question about what he was going to be was was genuine. And um, it was the best thing that could have happened for the show. Um, and it was certainly the best thing at that time that had ever happened to me um, personally. I mean, you've done some incredible work on television and film. And the upcoming, of course, is the film version of Tick, Tick, Boom, which is Lin-Manuel Miranda's directorial debut. I mean, we're so excited for this. Dynamite cast you get to work with. What was it like? Who do you play? And what was it like filming this? So I play Roger Bart, who was a great friend of uh, Jonathan's. And we got to film this last last year in, in the middle, you know, and then the crazy, <laughs> one of the craziest moments of the pandemic. And... I felt so blessed to be able to tell the story about artists struggling to find their place place in in their career and in their personal life um, because that's 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 us like that's what we do. Um, one of the really cool moments about that um, that that shoot though was the first day where we were having sort of a screen uh, test, testing out the wardrobe and the lighting and the set. So. Each of us had to come out. Vanessa Hutchins came out to do her thing. Andrew Garfield did his thing, Robert De Jesus. And then when I came out, Lynn put on the big speakers, favorite son. Like he he played that. So like when I came out, I just wasn't expecting to hear it. And I was like, 
oh, but it was just this vibe from the original recording, the cast recording. And just, just the thought of Lynn to do that, to make me feel so like, this is you. Like you're meant for this here right now, it made me feel so special. Yeah. And I was like, wow, Lynn, before even a camera started rolling, that's a talent that he has. He's been doing that since we were in the Heights when he was creating mixtapes for us on CDs for opening nights off Broadway, then on Broadway. He's just so thoughtful and he just set the scene for, for artists to really thrive and be their best. So it was an amazing experience.